Hello, I am Max from Goose, and this is a very, very exciting announcement for anyone who is a fan of the XCOM series by Firaxis, published by 2K. I say this because on February the 5th, which at time of recording is only a couple of days away, XCOM 2 is coming out, and we will be jumping on that, because goddamn we love the first XCOM. And if you haven't played it, then this video might not be for you because it will be referencing things that you won't understand. But if you are interested and have played the other game, then we need your help. We need volunteers because XCOM 2 will have a character pool, which is like, um, if you played the game, you know that XCOM had a lot of like soldier customization. When you send out your soldiers, they can be, you know, with, you'd add their names and their nationalities and all stuff like that. XCOM 2 has taken that a whole bunch further. And there is now this character pool mechanic, which is before you even start playing the game, you will customize and create a whole bunch of characters, essentially, in the character pool. Nice. And when new recruits and soldiers and rewards and engineers and things happen in the, the game, in XCOM 2, they will be taken from this character pool instead of just randomly generated. And so we would like you guys to submit characters, essentially. Um, it, it's, it's like, you'll, we'll, I'll put an email in the description. It'll be Maximum Goose, the Maximum Goose at gmail. It'll be in the description. Just shut up. And also in the description will be what you need to put in that email. So it will be like a name, a nationality, uh, an attitude. There's a whole bunch of new stuff. And it's really like, as in, I'm pretty sure there's also like guns Goose, and. What are you doing? I'm doing the. I'm doing the XCOM announcement video because it's. What are you doing? Turn down the light. Uh, um. Well, yeah. So there's there's gonna be a whole bunch of new customization options, and I I um. Huh. Prize. There's a prize, everyone. Oh my god, there's a prize. Exciting. Um, the person or people who make it to the end, because I've, I've tried to be going into this pretty dry, into like, XCOM 2. I've tried not to look into it too much, but at the end of the previous XCOM, Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within, the very last mission had one character sacrifice themselves and save the world. If you finish the game, which statistically you didn't, then you would know this. And if that is the case in XCOM 2, then whichever one of you guys saves the world will be getting a prize. Now, the original, original XCOM that came out in like the, the 80s or the 90s or whatever, that had, as we found out recently, a novelization. Like a, not, not, not a survival guide, not a, not a, um, not like a rule book or something. I'm, I, it was like an actual book of XCOM, and we managed to find a copy of that. And if you are the one who saved the world, then you're gonna get a signed, if you want, copy of that book. And if you're part of the squad that makes it to the end, then you're gonna get a copy of the novelization that we write about this playthrough. We've got like a genuine writer, shout outs to Sleepy Ted, to Right, like watch the videos that we do, do the, like write out the story of the soldiers that we send out, and we're gonna compile we're gonna compile that at the end. We're gonna bind it all together, and that's gonna be part of the squad that makes it through the end. So that's very 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 exciting. Now there are a couple of disclaimers. One is that with the character pool option, there's a uh, an element of randomness to it. So while you will give us a preference of class and attitude and things like that you may not get the class that you want. Which is kind of good, because if, you know, if, if 50 of you go specialist and one of you go psyops, then that psyops guy is going to get a whole lot of screen time and a whole bunch of specialists will never see the light of day. Because I'm going to be choosing people based on, like, good class matchups and stuff, not based on who I like. It's a simple fact. Um, you also might not be a soldier at all, because with the character pool option, there are three new options. There's appear as soldier, appear as VIP, and appear as dark VIP. I should say appear means that there is a chance that you will show up as that in the game. 
So soldier is, say, if you get a, a rookie or something as a reward, or once you order a new character in from barracks and such, then you will show up as that. VIP means that if you need, if, if we need to save a politician out on a, like, like, in, like in the old XCOMs, how you needed to get people of interest and bring them back and save them and stuff, that could also be you. And dark VIP, I should say VIP is also like scientists and engineers, so you will most likely end up in the base researching and building stuff for us, which would be really, really cool. Dark VIP, on the other hand, are alien sympathizers. Uh, motherfuckers who we will kidnap and I don't know we'll, we'll do what are we gonna do to to people with yeah yeah all right um and so you might not be a soldier and the obvious disclaimer is you very well might not survive if you die don't bitch about it it's probably because I'm bad at video games but it also could be because I don't know what the aliens are gonna do because I'm trying to go into this a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm trying to go in dry and not know what's gonna happen. So it's gonna be exciting. So yeah, um, email in the comments with the place that you should email. Also, uh, not in the comments, in the description. Also in the description will be the things like the name and the nationality and the attitude and if you want like a gun color. And I think there's a biography option of if you just want to have a full backstory and if you want to go that hard. So if, if you do a really cool one, then that's probably going to increase your chances of me in the video going, holy shit, this guy just did a fucking sick biography. Everyone read this because they're awesome. So yeah, I'm getting really excited for this. And I hope you guys are too. Should only be in a couple of days, but as it as as it's coming out, we'll probably still be accepting submissions just in case, you know, we run out of people, which is a very real possibility. So if you want to be a part of it and if you want a chance to win the really cool prize, and if you just wanna, you know, if you just wanna take the fight to the advent with us on YouTube, then please, hell yeah. Um, email us and the thing, and we will see you on the fifth. See you guys.